what's up everybody what's up what's up what's up it's your boy will reacts 215 in the building and today i am here with eden zero chapter 101 can y'all believe we on chapter 101 of eden zero titled singularity now apologize for the wrinkle shirt just came in from work and i had to like wash it up real quick because i was sweating like a motherfucker it's hot as hell outside so, but let's get back on track don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter. Will react YT as you can see up top. Um, shit, I got sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, not COVID. But um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get into this chapter. And um Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you like the content. Don't forget to check out my latest upload of Final Fantasy. And then be on the lookout for the finale of The Wolf Among Us. And then I'm going to look for another game to play on the channel. I'm sorry, something on my screen. But without further ado, you guys, let's get into the video. Um, on the cover page, we have another Pino's analysis. And we have... It's Captain Connor, clearly, but he's like fizzled out a little bit, if you can. He's like fizzled out a little bit. I didn't want to show it like all the way because I didn't want to get it. You know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, everything is a question mark. And then the memo says, "I do get the feeling that there used to be one more member of the Eden Zero crew, but I just can't recall who it is. I wonder if my memory has been damaged. He was a really good pilot and a little perverted. Yes, very perverted. And um, Burgle." Burl, burl, I don't know what that means, but I do remember when he was on this ship, he was making Pino curse, which was ex absolutely hilarious. That was one of my favorite um, slice of life chapters from Eden Zero because it was like absolutely hilarious. Like Captain Connor was <laughs> is really funny as hell. And we're returning to Grand Bell, the planet Grand. Oh, they're already there. God damn, I thought they was going to travel a little bit. They're already there. Well, I mean, it wasn't that far from. Um, Blue Garden. The planet Granville. I hope she when she, like this gives Shiki like a little bit of character development before I start reading. Because if you remember when he left, he was upset that all the robots turned on him. But they just wanted him to get off the planet because they were all about to malfunction. Now I hope in some kind of way that he realizes that they either did not turn against him or he comes with the fact that everybody on the island is just completely gone. So here's Pino. So this is my master's home planet. Now recording the beautiful scenery. And she's just like like a little kid at pretty much like Don't run off, Pino. It might be dangerous, says Weez. Nah, it's not dangerous because everybody is pretty much um, gone. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I apologize. Hey, I'm a busy, <laughs> busy, busy, important person. You feel me? <laughs> it's like no. And Rebecca says, Shiki, are you sure you're okay? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, what if they attack us again? Because if you remember, I forgot Rebecca. I forgot, but Rebecca was there when they all turned on um, Shiki. And she pretty much was the reason that they kicked him off the planet. Because he finally had a friend. Even though she didn't know who the hell he was. And he says, we'll run away at full speed. Shiki could whoop all of the asses, but whatever. We're just going to ignore that <laughs> They were just affected by a bad virus, that's all. Try not to hurt them too much. She's <laughs> talking on homework. She's like, I understand. Witch and sister should have come with us, says Hermit. And Happy says, they said they're running a sy ship systems check. And then I don't know who that is, but it says, that reminds me. Didn't you say the four shining stars came from this planet too? Yes, says Hermit. But to be more accurate, this is where Ziggy built us. So this they're from there. I thought he kind of built them on the E zero, but he built them on Blue Garden, which is kind of cool. Then we looked for Mother together, but we found Shiki and I'm sorry, but we found Shiki on the way and turned back. And he's looking like, hmm. but only Shiki and Ziggy came back here. 
where did you find me? She says, I don't know. The Shining Star's memory files of outer space have all been erased. So they erased all of the memory of everybody, which was kind of a good thing. Because if they didn't, then they were pretty much like, it wouldn't be like an adventure, if you get what I'm saying. I think Shiggy did it on purpose. I wonder if there's something he didn't want us to know, says Hermit. And Wade says, maybe it's related to where you found this guy. And um, Shiki says, I am curious, but I don't care that much. <laughs> maybe it was a lantern. And Shiki's like, I hope not. <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that it was Grandpa and the folks here who raised me, says Shiki. Rebecca, oh. I'm sorry, no. She's uh, smiling. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I, I like looked at the next panel. But uh, Rebecca's smiling. And Pino's like, Master, look. And like all the robots, they're just... Because they all died, pretty much. So they're all look, looking shocked. Mithra, Annie, John, Sir Castel Castellion. None of them are moving, says Happy. It's like their engines cut off. Oh, they're going Michael. I liked Michael. <laughs> Happy's like, Michael, and he's crying. Oh. Did the virus do this to them? And Hermit's like... They're out of ether. All the machines on this planet were powered by ether, but it dried up. And when that happened, they all shut down. And I'm not finding any signs that they were infected, that they were ever infected by any virus. So, Shiki's going to think that they pretty much just attacked them, turned evil and attacked them. Like, which is what he did not want to happen. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh. <laughs> so, Shake Shiki's crying. What do you mean they were infected? I saw it, too. Says um, Rebecca. Maybe Log will tell us something. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so maybe um when Homer hacks their memory, they'll, she'll, well, he'll finally get the, get the conclusion that they wanted him to go away because they were all about to die and he didn't, they didn't want to leave him alone. Okay. Our lives will only last a few more years. Yep. We machines can no longer avoid this fate. Please, before our time is up, help Shiki to reach the sky. So he's crying. This is the character development that I wanted. Not wanted, but I mean, not just, I, I want Shiki to get character development. Like Rebecca got, and like Waze got, and like Homura got. So he's due, like. But what are we to do? Without the Demon King, we lack the technology to build a spaceship. Or any way to contact other planets, says Michael. Our only choice is to wait until someone arrives from another planet. I only hope we do not break down before then. Do not neglect your daily repairs. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And it cuts off. And then it says, my lord, my lord, Castilian, the girl, she... And he's like, yes, I know. She's a human from another planet. Attention, all androids, the plan goes into effect tomorrow. We will play the rules of bots infected with the virus that makes them hostile to humans. So he's getting... This is good, because he's getting, like... That they really did care about him. And he always says machines have hearts and machines care. And, you know, everybody just thinks that they don't and, and that they're just tools. But this kind of shows that Shiki is right to believe the way he believes because if they were machines they would not care about Shiki at all and he says I'm glad it worked humans must not stay on this planet says the uh, king because once we stop moving they would all be alone if we hadn't he'd stay here forever he was all he was all I'm gonna fix you all you all performed your parts well and happy's like no and Rebecca says, it was all an act? It was an, an act? All of it? And she gets like, you're kidding. <laughs> right, guys? And Waze is like, what happened? And Homer says, if I, if I were to guess, the machines acted the part of villains to compel Shiki to leave the planet. Which is correct. And Pepino's like, master? Uh, Kashank. And he turns around. Rest in peace, ye noble bots. What? Is this the Demon King? Ah, 
Demon King. Is this the Demon King? I don't want to yell too loud because I don't want people to be like, what the hell are they yelling about? Grandpa? Hermit's like, Ziggy. My real master? Says Pino. Happy's like, he's the Demon King. Rebecca's like, but. Wade's like, I thought you said he was dead. And Herm Homer is like, my master told me that as well. And he's just standing there, and they're all looking like, I like this panel. I I like that panel. I love. I like that. Grandpa, you're you're alive, and he's just looking. Grandpa, I, and he's like this. Zoom. Okay, so he just did something. Whoa, he's that powerful. <laughs> Cheeky fell on his face, and everybody's falling over. And she's like, Ziggy, what are you doing? The ground is, says Homer, uh, Pino. This is some intense gravity, says Weez. She's like, Homer's like, I can't move. Rumble, 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 rumble. They're all, Grandpa, you gotta stop this. <laughs> and he just crushes Shiki. Shiki, I was wrong. Oh, he's like, what? I should have never, I should never have raised you or sent you into the skies. He's like, Grandpa, what are you talking about? That ugly, well, I mean, what ugly, foolish creatures these humans are. What the fuck is going on? They're not humans. They're not human. I'm sorry, this is a hermit. They're not. Humans come in all kinds, just like bots. You can't assume they're all evil. And he's like, of course they are human. Of course they are humans I can use. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Eden's one. What's that shit? Now is the age of mechanical life forms. We will rule over all humans. This is a dope ass panel, bro. This is a dope panel. And they're all like, Shiki's crying and everybody's looking. Pino, come. You belong with us. She's like, what? Oh! Is that the end? Oh, man. That's the end of the chapter, you guys. I feel like it was short for some weird reason. But nonetheless, the Demon King is super fucking powerful. Clearly, I mean, like, he destroyed the ground like it was nothing. This dude is definitely powerful. Um, I definitely think this is a final test of Shiki's strength before he leaves the Sakura Cosmos. That's, that's actually what I think it is. I think it is like the final training, so to say, because like once they leave the Sakura Cosmos, it's going to get harder and harder and the enemies will probably get stronger. This is what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but this is what I'm thinking. Um, hermits like, you know, humans aren't evil, which is for her because we know her backstory. She was pretty much used, torn apart, tortured and tested on by humans. So for her to tell Ziggy that, you know, all humans are not evil, that's actually character development for her. So this was actually a really good chapter. It progressing, it's, pro it's progressing the story further. The Demon King is definitely powerful as, powerful as hell. They're all going to have to, like, 6v1 him, I'm sure. <laughs> like, they're... There is no way Shiki's beating him on his own, or, or if he does, like I said, we said the same thing about him versus um, DJ Zombie, aka what the hell was it, Drake and Joe, the Alchemist. We said, we said the same thing, but somehow he unlocked that correct overdrive, the full overdrive, and his power went up. So maybe that's what this will be like—a training for him to use an effective, effectively master his overdrive and get a little stronger and learn how to use his gravity on another level the way he did so he so he is more capable of defending his friends that's what i hope this is i hope he just really isn't evil because i mean it's like damn right <laughs> you just learned that everybody pretended to be evil to help you escape and then you come back see your grandpa and he's just trying to kill you and your friends but um I hope that's where the story goes. 
but that's going to do it for this video. I know it was kind of short. I feel like this was a short chapter, but um, that does it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. We'll react to 15YT. Um, don't forget to check out my Final Fantasy video that I posted the other day. Be on the lookout for the Wolf Among Us episode 5 finale that I will be posting sometime this week. I'm not going to say a date because then I know something might come up and then I might not be able to post it. So it's coming this week. Be on the lookout for that. And it's your boy, Will Reacts 215. And I'm out. Peace.